itchy nose, itchy nose. You know, and that's so funny. I go, I go like my whole day not, not, not doing that. I know that I bring that up a lot. Anyway, today is Saturday, July the 9th of 2022. And I am, of course, your, your host. Uh, not with the most, but with some, with some something. Uh, John Anthony Francis Wilcox. Uh, the not the first, second, or third, just sort of the one and only, if you will, in a non-egotistical way. So today, I mean, there's much to talk about, but today is uh, would have been my mom's 93rd birthday. So happy birthday, mom, wherever you are. Hopefully, uh, having a lovely afterlife. Uh, I love you. I miss you. Uh, my mom, as many of you know, is a huge influence on my life. My mom and dad were the biggest influences on my life. Um, she was massively creative. Um, mom liked to crochet. She was a fine artist doing like, you know, pastels and things like that. Uh, in her later life, she also loved to paint dishes. Like she'd get a white dish and paint like flowers on it or a bird or something like that. Um, terribly creative, loved westerns, but they had to be westerns with, um, Indians in it, as they used to say, because she liked that cowboys and Indian stuff, and she liked the other stuff too, but, um, you know, like the later, like the, the Clint Eastwood, I can't think of the name of the big movie, won the Academy Award for the western, um, that wasn't really her kind of thing. That was more psychological. She liked the the fighting stuff. And she loved old movies, as did I. I think I got my love of old movies a lot from my mom, um, initially. Um, huge influence. And, uh, again, she would have been 93. So, a shout out to you, Mom. Jane Lorraine Izzo Wilcox. So, there you go. So, I've been doing a lot of art lately. I'd, I'd say that since, I don't know, the last 10 days, uh, 10, 11 days, I've done easily 40, 50, 60 pieces of all different types of stuff. It's just been a real flow, so I'm sort of going with that, you know. Um, today, also, uh, my favorite current TV show is um, a show from Televisa that they show on Univision every weekend called Mikaiga de Risa, which I believe translates to falling down laughing. I don't understand what they're saying, but it doesn't matter. It has a, a few mainstays, like it's always hosted by this this great guy named Fizey. Up to you, Fizey. And uh, usually has the beautiful Maria Zell and Mariana Echeverria and sometimes Ricardo Fastlight and Ricardo Margalef and a guy named Yoram and Gabi Platas and Jessica Segura and a bunch of other people I'm forgetting their names uh, Salame is it Albert Salame I don't know I forget his first name it might be Alberto Salame but whatever it is or isn't is is beside the point it's a great show it's a two-hour show where um all the people involved and they'll have like a guest person come in every week and they run through all sorts of weird and sometimes painful things there's one thing where if they get the answers wrong they have to hold these two metal bars while they shoot electricity through it um, or they have a thing where someone they, they play a piece of music and some the first person starts dancing the second person has to replicate their move and add a move and it keeps going through about five people until someone gets the order wrong and then they're they're cast off until it's down to the last two people that kind of thing and then they always end the show with a thing called uh scenario inclinado or inclinado whichever it is it's a stage that's at this angle, but the camera shoots it so when you watch it on TV, it looks like that. 
but they're all really having to kind of walk uphill and do this wacky storyline on a wacky set and they get doused with water and sprayed with glitter and who knows what so I watch that every week it's my favorite thing on TV doesn't matter it speaks the universal language of funny so that's a great thing Uh, I've had a wonderful time this week uh, talking on uh, Twitter with my friend Liana I love Leanna. She's she's absolutely wonderful. Uh, I want to grow up to be her. She is so smart and interesting, and just she's she's a fantastic person. I I don't know why I'm worthy to be her friend, but she finds me worthy, and I'm I'm very grateful for that. So, oh, some thingies. It's been show and tell lately. This week. Two things. Today I got in my box set. Oh boy. I feel like a little kid here. Five. Five CDs. The first five CDs from the band, the 60s band, The Association. You know, um, Along Comes Mary, Cherish, Never My Love, Windy. Great stuff. Love them. Just got that today. Just listened to the first album. Wonderful. And I also got this. Um, Gong, uh, what is it, High Above the Subterranea Club 2000, um, great gig, It it's a CD and a DVD of the complete concert, because they couldn't fit the whole thing on the CD, but um, it's with, for those that know Gong, it's from when David Allen and Jilly Smythe were still alive, and uh, they've sadly both passed Gong continues though because David Allen who was the founder uh, asked that um, toward the end of his life that they make sure the band goes on so beautiful and once again yes the association the association Um, what else I've been reading this week I finished up the Rutherford book I read Prescription Murder this is the early 1960s play where they got Columbo from, written by the creators of Columbo, obviously, uh, Lincoln Levinson. And this prescription murder was one of the very first episodes of the TV show in the early 70s. They took it from the play. It's interesting to read because I, I recognize the story, but I see the differences as well. And I've also been going through the Phil Collins autobiography which is uh, interesting on uh, his perception of, of things that, um, I'm sorry, that was weird. I had like a, a, a twitch in my eye. I'm falling apart on camera. But so I've been, uh, I'm about a third of the way through that book that I just started the other day. And boy, this twitch in the eye is getting annoying. I got pizza on the way. So, not cooking tonight. In fact, we got two kinds of pizza on the way. Regular cheese pizza and a small white pizza. I love white pizza. So, what else? Grace Mary came by, but she couldn't get into the church, so she couldn't bring me communion. But she came and we talked a little bit. That was nice. Took some pictures of a stray cat named Luna that lives around here. That I assume whoever... She's a cat that was once owned by someone and they just like kicked her out so she comes by I guess they named her Luna because of the Sailor Moon uh, TV series which they had a black cat named Luna and this Luna is a black cat so there you go I'm rambling I love you all Um, hi Leanna hi all my friends love to Suzanne who's gone through a bunch of root canals and a bone graft in the past week i hope you see this i love you much love to all be in touch see you next time bye bye